everyone. Hopefully everybody watching this has heard about the significant changes coming into effect October 1st, 2020. I'm taping this August 3rd, 2020, and we have only recently uh, become apprised, gotten some clarity on these changes that are coming down the pike October 1st, 2020 for those in need of home care Medicaid. So in the current environment, prior to October, very commonly, we have individuals who need home care and can't afford it. So we help them by Medicaid planning, which in essence, a uh, big chunk of it involves transferring certain assets into uh, either very commonly a trust or outright as a gift to an individual. And then the next month we are able to apply and have that individual be granted home care Medicaid. However, um, in October 1st, there is going to be a 30 month, that's a two and a half year penalty imposed on transfers. So if somebody is going to make that transfer into a trust or outright as a gift to an individual, a child, let's say, um, that transfer will be penalized. The way that the penalty works is they take the amount of whatever was transferred. So let's say it's a brokerage account um, in the amount of $200,000 and they divided by approximately $13,000. And the reason for that amount is that that is approximately the cost of monthly nursing home stay. And even though we are discussing home care Medicaid, that is the same uh, penalty formula for the current five-year penalty for nursing home coverage that you may be aware of. So they take that gross amount of whatever was transferred, again, let's assume it's $200,000, they divided by that approximate $13,000 figure. Whatever number we get is the amount of months that home care will not be covered. And they will look at every transfer made in the prior 30 months. So the moral of today's story really is be proactive. This is the time to act. We have a couple of months here until October 1st. And this is a very critical time to set up those trusts, whether or not you're in need of Medicaid now. Um, and that is because you want to either minimize or eliminate this penalty, um, whether or not you will need Medicaid in the future because you wanna take those precautionary measures. Um, there's a lot of nuance here, a lot of very interesting um, things to be aware of with regard to the new laws. So really, this is the time to speak with your elder attorney, your estate planning attorney, and I sincerely hope that you take some action and begin this planning that, you know, unfortunately, we don't want to think about estate planning. We don't want to think about our potential health care costs. These are things that people don't want to really gauge, but it's very critical and really the time is now.